Here in the basement of our church, we have some pictures up on the wall that give us a little bit of a sense of history of our congregation. Uh, one picture we have up on the wall is this picture, and it's of a confirmation banquet, and it has a date on there of 1939. And it's got these different ones who are there, ones who have been confirmed at Bethany, and they were having a banquet. The congregation at that time was about 49 years old. And so it appears they were having this banquet celebrating some of the different ones who were confirmed. 1939 was kind of a scary time in the country, in our world. It was still the midst of the Great Depression that was going on. And there was war that had just begun in Europe. And in this country, there was a lot of debate going on if the U.S. should be involved or not. But many were fearful and anticipating that war was about to come. I, I can only imagine what some of these young people at that banquet, some of the things that were going through their, their minds, going through their hearts. Uh, some of them were probably from home situations that maybe times were tough and they were trying to make ends meet. Uh, some of them maybe ended up going off into war or had relatives, at least probably all of them had relatives connected in some way. And yet they're, they're there at that banquet, it's confirmation banquet, in a time to remember what they had been taught. I, I was thinking about them during these days that we go through, and they're not easy days now as we deal with this virus and the pandemic and everything, but they're certainly not much compared to what they were going through there in 1939. But the things that they needed to do are similar to what we need to do. Thinking about in, in 2 Timothy and in chapter 3, and, and the Apostle Paul gave instructions to his son in the faith, Timothy. And, and he told him uh, to remember what he had learned. He, he said to continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of. And then he talks about how the scriptures are able to make wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus, how the scriptures are useful and that through the word of God, we may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. God's word was able to equip these young people who had battled through depression and who are now going to be facing the prospect of war. God's word was able to equip them for the challenges they, they faced. And God's word is able to equip us as well. We don't know what's coming on the horizon there in 1939. They didn't know what was coming up ahead either. But we know that God's word will be with us. We know that God will keep his promises. We can know that we can trust that God is going to be faithful. He's promised to care for us. He's promised to guide us and to be with us whatever comes. He was with those young people in 1939, and he'll be with us today as well. Thanks for listening.